Hey beautiful, so I'm back and today we're going to be doing a lot of reviews on a bunch of different products. So, let's get started. So first I'm going to prep my face. I am going to use the NYX Hydro Touch Primer Base. I love this stuff. And it smells really good. It reminds me of like a cologne that Rudy wears. I'm not sure which one, but it smells amazing. So we're going to be using this one. And I like that it's like a tint of blue, so it's even cooler, you know? Okay, so we are going to use the eye primer by Jordana. This is new, so I do want to know how this is going to work. So using this, it's pretty neat. Simple eye primer like this. Since I do have nails, I am going to use just a brush. I don't know why I showed you this. And I will be zooming into my eye as well, so don't worry. So let's just apply this all over eye, our eye. Okay, I think it primed the eyes pretty good. I don't know if I would use this on my eyebrows because it is just so bright and light that I just feel like it wouldn't work out for me. But anyways, so we are going to be using the Tarte Lit Palette in Blossom. This is it. Mira, mira, mira. Bam! In your face. Just beautiful. Okay, so going in with this shade right here, we are going to apply that all over the lid using a Morphe G17 brush. And we're just going to set that primer. So going in with Rebel, going in with the same brush, we are going to apply this shade in our crease. And we're just going to do circular motions, buff it out, make it look all nice. So we're just going to apply that right there. This shade right here, this is the shade Leader. Okay, now mixing these two shades together. Going in with a Profusion Small Contouring Brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Charmer. Okay, now going in with LA Girl Cosmetics. This is a eyeshadow primer. And let's see, does it say a shade? So white, yeah, just white. Nothing fancy. Blanco. And we're just gonna like trace our lid so that we can apply a bam shade. Going in with this shade. This is the shade Funny Girl. Going in with the Morphe G18 brush, we're going to pick up Leader and Rebel, these two shades. Okay, now going in with the LA Girl Cosmetics Fine Line in Black. Uh. <laughs> bitch, that scared me. Why did you do that? I did switch it up and I did apply the Ardell Double Up. It's a nice change, you know, not the typical Vegas Nay Grand Glamour lashes that I usually go for. So, pretty proud of myself. So now to do our face, since I already applied foundation, I mean, since I already applied primer, liar, huh? I'm going to go in with the Revlon Color Stay 2-in-1 foundation and this is in the shade Golden warm golden so i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping this works oh come on i feel like everything's so hard to take off i haven't applied makeup in a good minute so the lashes are feeling kind of weird so 
going in with the foundation. I'm pretty excited. So this is how it comes. So right here is the concealer. Then you lift this up and then you just have the foundation down here, which is pretty cool because I thought you just got this much, but nope, there's more. So you have that underneath and then you have another, you got another department. So you got the mirror and then you got this really cool black sponge, but I'm not going to use a sponge. I'm going to use a beauty blender. So going in with this foundation, I'm going to use the beauty blender. So I'm just going to rub the beauty blender around just like this, just enough so that I have product on the beauty blender and we're just going to press it in our skin. I look like Casper right now. So scary, Alexis. Yeah, that is like so not my shade. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so that shade didn't work, so we're gonna go in with e.l.f. So I am gonna use both of the e.l.f.s because um, one's a little bit lighter, then one's a little bit darker. In my previous video of me swatching the foundations, a few of you were saying that the reason why it's like wet is because it has a serum in it, and I wasn't uh, thinking. So, thank you guys so much for letting me know because I was seriously like, why is it like this? So, we're gonna go in with the medium one and I'm gonna pump some <sighs> that just squirted out everywhere. And it looks like poop, but it's okay. No wasting. I'm going to pick it up with the beauty blender. So I'm just going to dab it like that. Okay, I think the medium one's going to work. Ugh. This is like such a mess. I'm like trying to... Ugh. Okay. Going in with the medium to dark. Sounds like a like if you're gonna it's like a chem of spray, you know. I'm not sure if I'm really liking it. It just looks like it still has like a gray cast. Um I don't know. Let's continue with the other products. So going in with the hard candy highlight and contour, I am gonna go in with the medium one. And we're just gonna apply it in the areas I want to contour. I am so excited to try this out. Okay, so since I, it blended away pretty nicely. So since I did apply a cream underneath my eyes and I tend to crease, I am gonna use the air spun. It works very very good for the creasing underneath the eyes so I'm just gonna apply some right underneath where I highlighted okay and now we're gonna move on to the hard candy look pro ultimate contour and sculpting kit and I am using the one that says medium to deep I like the highlight in here. So going in with the brush, I really, really, really like the brush. So we're going to pick up the contour shade right here on the brush. And it does have a lot of fallout, so we're just going to apply and then like tap off the excess. Okay, I feel like this is easier to like chisel out your nose. So I'm gonna use a brush that I'm more comfortable with to contour. So I am gonna pick up the Sona Kashi all around contour brush and we're gonna pick up that shade. You get less fallout when you use a brush than you do with that one, the one that it came with, so. So now going in with the Sona Kashi powder brush, I'm just gonna dust off the air spun. So it is coming together. I did like the um, hard candy contour brush. 
especially to like chisel out the nose it was really really easy to chisel this nose okay now going into highlight I am going to use the highlight that it does come with in the hard candy palette I will be using the morphe m310 brush so we're just gonna pick up some product and just buff it oh yes see that highlight mustache yes you do okay so now we're gonna go on to the lips I am gonna apply the hard candy velvet mousse matte lip color and this is in the shade this is in the shade daffodil So now going in with the city color Timeless Beauty, I'm going to apply one of the blushes. Yeah, yeah. So going in with this blush right here, it's more like of a coral peach. So going in with that shade, smile. So it's gonna kind of like match my lippy. Okay, now time to set our face. I am going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Spray. I've been loving this one. So now going in with the LA Girl Cosmetics Endless Lip Liner. This is True Brown. And I'm just going to kind of darken the sides of my lips. Handy mirror. Okay, so here is the look. Okay, <clears throat> enough with the sexy poses. Okay, so now we're gonna go into how, look at the true brown and this hard candy. I feel like it, perfect combo. And I, I'm really liking these velvet. Yeah, if Maybelline and L'Oreal would have done the same formula, it would have been great this is so much better than the l'oreal and revlon and maybelline like this formula is so much better i don't know even how to like oh, it's amazing if you guys see it pick them up yeah i usually ones that i don't like i usually give them to my niece or my cousins but all boo boo oh <laughs> you guys ain't getting nothing like oh, these are really good you know what, I'm probably going to have to give the niece some because these are really good. I take that back. I have to share. These are really good. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I do my braids because I was supposed to show you guys in my Valentine's, but um, <clears throat> I decided to wait for a tutorial where I like do the full face and then the hair. So what I like doing is I like doing it with straight hair. I like doing it after I get out of the shower. I like doing it however, however you want, okay? So what I like doing, I like go, going for the tip of my nose, drag my nail up, and then go all the way down, and that's how I part it. Okay, that looks like poo poo, Alexis. So, grab a pencil, <laughs> and just go all the way to make it even nicer and crispity crunchy. Bueno, looks so much better. Okay, and then use your nail. And then just comb through. I know a few people said that my hair would look better if I part it down the middle, but I'll, I don't really think it looks good. And my brothers hate it when I like part my hair down the middle. They hate it. Unless it's like curled and stuff, then they like it. But if it's my hair straight and it's like this, they're like, uh, go fix your hair. Like go part it or like they'll even drag my hair and like move it for me because they just don't like it I don't know why okay so what I like doing is I like grabbing a section like this kind of like in a triangle shape and I just grab it like if I was gonna do a braid and then I just start doing the braid I kind of suck at explaining but I hope you guys can see and then with my thumb, I pick up more hair from that side and this side. And I just start pulling and then grab more hair.
gonna describe a lira, a hair tie, and I am going to tie it up. There you go. So you guys see? Look how nice that is. I'm like really proud of myself right now. Okay, so now moving on to the side. This side better be good, Alexis. So same thing, like a triangle. <sighs> so much pressure right now. Okay. Pretty okay. It looks pretty okay. Yeah. Pretty proud of myself right now. Usually one's like way off, but it looks pretty freaking nice. And there you go. So that's how I do my hair. I think it looks pretty freaking nice. Okay, so so far I love how everything feels. See, like no transfer at all. So I am gonna wear the makeup and I will give you guys an update throughout the day. Um, so far, so good. It is five o'clock in the morning. I did get up extra early for you guys because I did want to record and, you know, say what's up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we will be doing an update throughout the day. So far, I like it. Even the highlight is like popping, like, So, um, yeah, to be continued. Okay, so I'm checking in. It's 7 o'clock, and I'm liking the way everything is holding up. The lips are still on, and I did have something to drink. And, yeah, I'm pretty impressed of how well it looks. I'm, like, really excited, you guys. I, I'm, I'm in love. Okay, the lips, I'm in love. The face looks really good. When I was getting Rudy's food together, he just said, like, he looks good, babe. And I was just like, sip. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like the way it came out. So far, everything is looking good, which, yeah, yeah. You know, that's what you want. The thing that I do notice, though, is that the glitter looks a little bit, like, it's too chunky. But it's okay. It gives you a good highlight. Um, But, yeah. I am, so far, so good, you guys. I'm loving all of it. Especially the lips like the lips. I seriously did not think that these were gonna be that good and Kind of feel like a Biatch for being like, you know too judgmental From the beginning because it this is like nothing. I'm gonna keep repeating this. It's a nothing like the Maybelline um, Revlon and L'Oreal this one's like better. It is Bomb diggity so I will keep you guys updated throughout the day and we'll just see how everything's holding up so far, so good. But the monkeys still have to get up. The day still has to keep going. So a ver que pasa. Hopefully it looks good. I said that weird. <clears throat> a ver que pasa. There you go. A ver que pasa and let's just see how well it holds up throughout the day. Hopefully it does good because I'm really hoping so. Um, but yeah, to be clean. Hey guys, so I am checking in. It is now 2.10 and I got some complaining to do. I am not too happy with the foundation. It looks kind of gray. I'll see if I can get like a better picture. But it looks gray outdoors. But with this lighting, it looks good. But it looks gray on the outdoors. And the highlight is starting to like get patchy. <laughs> not happy. And the lips, they're kind of stained. I don't know if it's because of the lip liner. But it did last a little bit. But, um, yeah, no biggie. Just reapply, and it looks good. Um, but, yeah. The um, eyeshadow is still on. The only complaints I have is that the face feels extremely dry. And you can... It really, really shows the fine lines. Like, underneath my eye, you can see it. It does not look flattering at all. Came home, and the brother was like, What are you wearing? Like, that foundation is not good, Lex. Like, don't wear that foundation. And I was just like, uh, thanks. Um, so, 
It says it's supposed to help with your um, your pores and your fine lines, but um, no, it's like really showing them a lot, especially underneath my eyes. And I did set it with a setting powder, so I don't know why it's showing. That setting powder works with all my other foundations, but I guess just not this one. So let's just see how it holds up um, at the end of the day, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Hey, beautiful. So I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to film the end of this makeup tutorial like the updates on what I thought I passed out and I was laying on the blanket and I didn't wake up until the next day because I was exhausted so I will go over the products right now since I do have a really strong um like what like a review since I did mess with it the next day so let's go on with the foundation foundations I do not like I did play with it the next day and the same thing happened which is that I get really bad creasing underneath my eyes I'm not wearing the foundation right now but um yeah I'm gonna point to the areas um but I did get really bad creasing underneath my eyes as the time went by and I just looked really ashy and gray around these areas and it was like really noticeable where like the hubby said something, the brother said something, and the niece said something. So it was just like, damn, like you're having a bad day, like, so you didn't moisturize, like, you know, the little jokes here and there. And it's just like, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was just really bad. Let me put on some chapstick. Lips looking dry as hell. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, the foundation was a no-go. I tried it the next day. Same thing happened. I even switched it up and used a different, um, like, face primer. I used the Clinique one. Clinique one works really good for me. And it still looks the same. I still crease underneath my eye. Um, it, it says it's supposed to help with the, um, it says it's supposed to help with, like, your, you know, fine lines and all that, whatever. But it does say right here, apply, um, reapply at least every two hours hours so i'm thinking that's what happened that i didn't reapply and all of that but i was kind of thinking that it would be like a foundation where you could wear it all day but yeah on the back it does say um yeah to to reapply at least every two hours ain't nobody got time for that okay unless you're like in the beach and this is what you're wearing yeah like no one got time for that so I would say have to pass on that. I didn't really like it. Let me know if it worked for you. But for me, it really didn't. So the next items are the hard candy. I love these things. These apply very smoothly and it really blends away very nicely. I have been using, um, let's put, I have been using medium. I was going to say light to medium, but this is just medium. And I like the way it contours the nose. I know that's pretty weird, but I like it. I feel like it draws a really good line, especially because I have a bump in my nose. So you really got to be careful, especially if you have a bump in your nose, to draw a really like good good line. Because sometimes with other products, I tend to go over it a little bit, and you can kind of see like the cricketness. But with these, they are amazing. And as for the contouring and sculpting kit, I really liked it. Especially the brush for the nose was really good, but I wouldn't use it for my cheeks because I feel like it was just too small. Okay, and I got some cheeks on this face, okay? So I didn't like it for the cheeks, but it worked for the nose. And the highlight was very beautiful. I loved it. I still want to play around with it a little bit more since I do want to use... I still want to use these shades right here, the contour, the, you know, the brightening one, brightening concealer, and then the prep um, to prep your face, like the primer. So I still want to use that. I did use the contouring shade, which was amazing, okay? It worked really good, so really happy with that. So, so far, Hard Candy is doing very good. The next thing that I tried from Hard Candy was the Velvet Mousse. This, I could not get enough of, you guys. This was really, really, really good. Um, again, I'm going to say, do not compare it to the Maybelline, the L'Oreal, or the Revlon, okay? This is nothing like it. This is even better. This is definitely worth the money, okay? I would say pick this over all the other ones because this one was really, really good. And I like the way it dried down to like a matte and it felt really soft and it, it wasn't drying, that's the thing. Like, you know, like a normal uh, liquid, matte liquid lipstick, sometimes they get kind of drying and people don't really like that. Well, you would love this then because this just stays really soft on the lips and yeah, there's like no like, you know, like like your lips look like a tight butthole or something. Like it's really soft and um, too personal there, huh? Uh, it's just really soft and matte on the lips. I really like it. I'm gonna keep them, and when they restock, I'm gonna even buy a backup because I liked it. The shade that I wore was Daffodil. 
very pretty I really liked it and as for the eyes I did use the Tarte and Blossom palette this palette is very beautiful I think I like this one a lot better than the first one just because this one does have shimmer in it and it's not completely matte there is some mattes in there but there is some shimmer and I think that's a really good palette when a palette has um, shimmer and matte so that you can kind of do like a really like bold sexy look or if you just want to matte out the eyes and just go with like a soft glam look you know what I mean so yeah I liked this one a lot and I think that is everything so I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed the review if you guys did please give me a big thumbs up and yeah subscribe if you haven't already so you guys can keep updated with my videos so sorry if I'm talking really fast it's because I got my coffee Okay, the coffee's kicking in, and you guys already know I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. but yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. Te quiero mucho, besos a todos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.